So I did a full episode about this, so I'm, I'm hitting it again here. But the answer is TikTok. I'm telling you, TikTok is the place to go for financial advisors over the next at least two to three years. Like it is, it is going to stick around, barring any crazy legislation or banning happening. It is going to stick around. Okay, it's not a feature-driven program. It is an entire platform, similar to Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. It's going to stick around. And it's not at all saturated. Okay, you might be saying to yourself, well, you know, my kid does that or my grandkids are on it. They see all these people doing this, doing that. But there's people on there doing legitimate educational type lessons. You could hop on TikTok right now and just like you can with YouTube and learn how to fix your leaky faucet. Like it's, it's there, it, it's happening right now. And whereas many advisors, which many are probably in the situation actually, YouTube's not for me, YouTube's for other stuff. It's not for financial services. That's, you, no one's gonna be on YouTube that's gonna be my ideal client. Well, now they're all over the place, right? Financial advisors are crushing it on YouTube if they know how to do it. So TikTok's the next step. Be ahead of the curve, get your content on there. Compliance has a factor, obviously, you'll have to be aware of. But here's the thought, and here's why I say this too. This is why this conversation, uh, I'm sorry, this question came up and why this conversation's powerful to me right now. Just uh, two, I guess it was two weeks ago now, I saw an entire Twitter thread talking about people giving unsupervised investment advice on TikTok and how they need to be punished by FINRA. The insurance departments need to come down on them with you know swords and, and hammers. Uh, their wirehouse and their state insurance department specifically need to ban them. Like, the truth is, man, like, the truth is they are just educating. There might be some people out there giving investment advice. I'm not going to blanket it. But the ones that they're referring to, the ones that I've been seeing, they're giving advice. Or, I'm sorry, they're not giving advice. Pardon me. They're not giving advice. They're just educating. They're educating in a general fashion. They're not telling anybody to do anything specific. For example, they're not telling people to roll their 401k over to a life insurance policy. They're giving reasons why one should explore doing that. Now that's fair game, right? You tell someone why they should consider selling their stock at a loss versus a high so they can capitalize on tax harvesting. And the, like, that's a suggestion, but you're not telling someone directly to do that, right? It's the same thing. The problem is there's a little bit of jealousy of it too. Okay, it's getting a ton of clicks, tons of views. Uh, and that person's writing a lot of business from it because they're, they understand marketing. They understand marketing. They go to where the people are. And they were probably ahead of the curve. Because quite frankly, the ones that I've been seeing, the accounts, they have a ton of followers, like a ton of views. That doesn't happen by accident, right? They realize the value in marketing on TikTok. And the comments are filled. They're filled with questions about, hey, how do I work with you? Hey, what should I be doing here? Hey, how can I learn more? Hey, like... They're not answering on the comments. They're reaching out to that person through their own message and saying, hey, let's find some time to chat about it over the phone, right? Or maybe they're inviting them to do a webinar or something or they're plugging them into digital marketing. It's a hot lead and there's a ton of opportunity out there. So again, TikTok is the next big marketing funnel you need to be on. Okay.